Hello everybody, it's Melissa Schroeder and I want to show you what I'm doing with my Pinterest page um, recently. I don't spend a lot of time on Pinterest because it could um, cause me not to write as much. I would get on in the morning and then have 50 different ways to make salad in a jar by 5 o'clock. So to keep myself on track I had stayed off of it, but when I started writing Seductive Reasoning and Task Force Hawaii overall, I started realizing I needed a way to keep myself organized online. I could do bookmarks but I happen to work on several different computers at a time. They're not all connected. And so it made it a lot easier for me to keep this on there because I could always get onto my Pinterest page and save it. And so one of the things, the first thing I did, first, first let me show you how it's set up. Um, if you don't have a Pinterest, you can sort of see how you can make your own little boards. They move around. So it's really easy to rearrange stuff. The only thing I don't like is that you can't have boards pinned onto boards like that kind of organization, which would be really cool. So I could have like all the books that are in a series pinned to Task Force Hawaii or whatever, but you can't do that. So, um, And there's some personal things on here like my garden and stuff Les should help me make. That's my husband. And then I'm also part of some group blogs, Cover Time, which is run by, I believe, De Delilah Devlin and... Um, it's research I swear is run by Brandy Walker and then I also have a secret board right down there that I just didn't let you see much of. The other things I have is my upcoming book releases which I'm going to fix. That's a little out of date. Um, I have Task Force Hawaii, Seductive Reasoning, Hostile Desires. These three are here because they're the main things I'm working on right now. You can move these around so when I have a Santini coming up you're going to see some you're going to see this move over here and so people can start seeing what's in the Santinis and what's going on with them and I'll have I'm going to start doing a board for every book I do that's a regular length book. I mean a short story I probably won't do one for but for the novellas, novels and anthologies they're all going to have their own boards now because it just keeps me better organized. So in Task Force Hawaii um, I'm pinning everything that's important to the series on here. It'll grow as the series grows, of course. There's six books in the series, so it'll keep on growing. Um, you have character inspirations, the car, the truck they all drive, that they're issued, Waikiki Beach, because of course that's important. They work near Honolulu Police Department. You know, these types of things. This is a, a pin with Hawaiian words. It has um, the queen on it, but, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and so I have my hero for this book and the heroine. Um, this is my hero and heroine for my next book. Um, and just important stuff. Leonard's is very important, always. And Tripler Army Medical Center is important because that's a, a main trauma center um, on the island. There's only two of them, I believe. Queens is the other one, and Tripler is um, the military one. Um, so I know that one well. Uh, so what we have here is, is sort of the map. I didn't know they had these. I don't know if they added them, but Brandy Walker told me about it. And I went, oh, that's cool. And then I went to play with it, and then I was in, in love with it. It helps me keep organized where things are and how long it takes to get there. Hawaii is an island where a lot of people have visited but not lived. And so I sort of can give people an idea of where things are also. They can look at this and go, okay, here's the airports over here, and this is where Hickam is, and this is Honolulu. This is, you know, especially for the next book, the hero and heroine live on the north side of the island. And so it makes it a little bit easier for people to understand why it takes them so long to get down here. It takes forever. So, <laughs> during traffic. Um, so, this is just how this board is set up. I'll keep, like I said, I'll keep adding to it as it, as it goes on. So let's go back to my main board so I can show you what I do with seductive reasoning. Um, I, as I mentioned, have ADD. Um, I work at home. My daughter's homeschooled. It, my husband's retired. So everybody is all up in my business <laughs> all day long. It can be quite distracting. And so if I find something, I can pin it immediately and walk away from it without losing the information I need. And that's what helped me with seductive reasoning. I could go through and I could... Um, find certain things. Of course, my hero and heroine, which have been pinned, and where the hero heroine lives, and where the hero lives. Um, music, uh, other little things that are important. She eats at su Sushi Sansabuni. Sans I can't pronounce it right. Side Street Inn is another one. Um, Fort de Russy is important because they park there one night. So it sort of gives you an idea. This is pinned because it's on my map. And then I also, you know, like this dress she wore, which is, you know, I found it, I'm like, that's the dress she needs to wear, so I can go ahead and put it on the, 
on the um, my Pinterest board and the khakis, which are very important to many Hawaii Five-O readers or watchers. Um, and there's her Vespa. She rides a Vespa. He has a um, Harley along with his um, truck from the um, Hawaii Task Force or Task Force Hawaii. Um, and so I can sort of give you an idea when you look at this sort of important happenings. And most of this book is important right around here. Things will change. Um, in each book, there's going to be different parts of the island featured, but this one was, was really featured down here because um, if you want to make a, an entrance as a serial killer, leave, you know, bodies um, where they can be found very, and, and be shocking. So this is what this guy did. Okay, so let me go down here so I can sort of, there's Macaulay. Um, Macaulay's were the first victim of this serial killer in seductive reasoning. That's where he leaves his first victim. And so that can sort of give you an idea. I mean, you can look at that and say, well, that's really important. It's really close to the palace grounds. It's really close. Um, uh, no. Okay. Let's see. As I go along here, it's really close to places like Ala Moana and where our heroine lives and all these very important sites. The city of Honolulu and then the cops are down here and all that type of stuff. So that sort of gives you an idea of how, um, where everything is at when it comes to the first killing. You've got a heroine who went to the University of Hawaii at Manoa. She worked in a place out on the, what we call, what they call the West End um, of Hawaii. Um, some call it West End of Hawaii, Paradise Cove, but I call it something else because um, I couldn't say that she worked there. <laughs> but, and uh, for harmless people, that's where Danny's working. He's finishing up his work there before he goes into residency. So he makes an appearance in the book, Danny Ayana. Um, and so that's basically makes it so much easier for readers to see how it looks. And, and I'm just going to give you a quick peek at Hostile Desires because it will show you when a reader's looking at the map, they can see it's much it's going to be more on this side of the island this is where the killing happens that leads to the cold case and all of it takes a lot of it takes place over here where our hero and heroine live and so it will you know have a different feel to it there are different feels to different parts of the island um honolulu waikiki very touristy very fast 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 but as you move out and you go to the surfer areas or to the where more locals hang out um definitely a different feel and so those books will be a little bit different so that's how I set that up I also when I do the the boards I have music that inspires me um, and places again important where they eat Giovanni's is an important um, place because it's the heroine's favorite place to eat okay so this sort of tells you how I set my thing up I have monthly I have different things now I, I don't know if I went over this where I have monthly specials that are gonna be coming up each month I'm going to have bundles or, or backlist titles on sale and I'll start putting them up there so people can find them. I have, where did my newsletters go? I pin my newsletters up here. Mm -hmm. They're somewhere. Um, <laughs> but um, I have my, oh yeah, there's my Goodreads and then there's my newsletters. So you can see I, I pin all my newsletters and people can just go in and see where, what's going on. And that promotes again. I always tell people, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but if it's free, it's for me. And this is free. It can be time consuming and you need to make sure that you use it in a way that helps you and doesn't take up your time for writing. Um, but it makes it interactive for your readers. My readers love to hear about Hawaii. They love to know more about it. Um, a lot of them have never been. And many of them told me that they'll never be able to afford to go, but they can pretend, you know, they can live through my books and go see it. And this gives them another added level that they can go actually go in and look. It's in the book. I have formatted seductive reasoning and the Pinterest page is in there. So people can actually go through my digital book when they buy it and go look at the Pinterest pages for it. So that was another added feature I did for it. One other thing I want to do is I know a lot of read authors like to keep things secret and they don't always want to give things out right away. So one of the things you can do, if you didn't know, is have ooh, secret boards. And basically you can take these secret boards and put everything that you is important to you, get it all set up and get ready for readers. And then when you're ready for everybody to see it, then you make it public and you can promote it then. So it makes it a lot easier for you to promote your books and get everything ready for your readers cheap, it all it costs is time and you can and it gives something else to reach out to readers that might be interested in the visual 
um, component of how you did research. And that's it. Thank you. Bye.